Welcome back. In this video, I will talk about how to insert documents into an index in Elasticsearch. I will start by explaining the format of the document that Elasticsearch expects. After that, I will show you how to insert one document or multiple documents. Finally, I will talk briefly about mapping. In the previous video, I showed you how to create an index. But how do you add documents to it? Say that you have a PDF file, which consists of just text, or let's say that, that you have a pure text or even a website. If you want to put that type of document into Elasticsearch, you cannot do that just like that. So you need to convert your document into a JSON format, because this is the format that Elasticsearch expects. For example, if you have a PDF file about a product, you could extract the name, the price, the description, etc. This process is necessary and should be done before indexing the documents. Let's say in this example that you have 100 documents, and let's say that you converted them into JSON format and inserted them into this index that I am calling my index. A quick reminder, all those 100 documents must have the same fields. And this is how you do that in the code. You can see it is very simple. You just call the index method and you are done. When inserting the data, there is something that happens under the hood, which we call mapping. Basically, Elasticsearch tries to figure out the data type for each one of the fields you have in your documents. This process, as I told you, is called mapping and is done automatically by default. But if you want, you can force the mapping manually. For example, here, the field created on should be considered as date, and the text and title fields are considered to be text. In a later video in the series, I will talk about the different data types that Elasticsearch supports. So don't worry about this for now. Now back to the code. Again, as always, Make sure that Elasticsearch is running locally before running the first cell. And then, if you see this message or this information printed to the console, this means that the connection is established to Elasticsearch and you are ready to go. Here, as, I, as we saw in the previous video, this is how we create an index. So here I delete it if it exists, and after that I just create it. And here I have created a dummy document that contains three fields, the title, the text, and the create on field. And we insert it by using the index method. So here you specify that the index should be, so here make sure that the index is the same as the one you have here. So here I made a mistake. Instead of my documents, it should be my index. And here you pass in your document. So I will just run this. And as you can see here, this method returns a response object, which contains some information like the ID, the, the number of charts, etc. So for example, we can look at this result key and here it says created, which means that we were able to insert the document into the index. Here we have the number of charts, you can see that the total number of charts is equal to two. Remember in the previous video, charting means breaking the document into multiple smaller parts. For example, here, this document was broken into two parts. Here, if you want, for example, to retrieve your document by ID, you can do that. So this document was assigned this ID. And here, just to verify, you can see that we inserted that document into this index that I called my index. Now to index multiple documents, I have created again a dummy JSON file that contains three documents and they have the same fields as before. This is simple. You use the JSON package to read that file and it gives you back a list of documents. Here I created two methods. One that inserts a document to the index and the other one prints the results of that operation. So as you can see here, I am inserting each document separately in a for loop. This is how you insert multiple files. And here you can see that we have created 
for all of them, which means that we were able to index the three documents and they were all split into two shards. Finally, we can show the mapping that was done automatically by Elasticsearch with this getMapping method. Let me run this. For example, created on was considered as a date field. And for text and title, both of them was considered as a text field. So for most, for most of the time, Elasticsearch does a good job identifying the type of each field. But if you want to do this manually for any reason, you can do that. So here, but this only works when creating the index. So before inserting the documents, you need to specify the mapping while creating the index. So here, as you can see, you can either pass it inside this create method if you want. So you can see that you have mappings or you can do that later if you did not add any document. Okay, so here I have this mapping object. Inside of properties, you specify the data type for each field. For example, created on is set to date. Text is set to text, etc. And after that, you use the put mapping to add the mapping manually. And here, if I print the mapping, you can see that it is the same. And as I told you, if you want to add this directly in the create method, you can do that. Here, I am deleting the index, and while creating it, I am passing the mapping instead of using put mapping. But both of them works, and all you need to know is this should be done before insert inserting the documents, and ideally, when creating, the index and for me personally i don't like this approach which is the manual um, mapping because it is more involved but in some cases it might be needed we arrived at the end of this video i hope that it was helpful and that you learned something from it please don't forget to like this video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel see you next time